Hello friends, this is Kapan Kishore and you are watching School Mentors. In today's episode, we are going to look at how to predict fog using temperature gauges on board your vessel. So we are going to use a Mason's hygrometer and on the Mason's hygrometer, on the left hand side is usually the dry bulb thermometer and on the right is the wet bulb thermometer. And there is a small water tank below these two which contains fresh water connected with the wet bulb thermometer with a muslin cloth. For our calculations, we are going to use uh, the dry bulb temperature as 24 degrees centigrade and the wet bulb as 19 degrees centigrade. The second step would be to find the differences between these two temperatures, the dry bulb temperature and the wet bulb temperature. In this case, it was 24 degrees and 19 degrees centigrade. And the difference between the two will be 5 degrees centigrade, which is also known as depression of the wet bulb. Now we are going to take this and go into the Mariner's Handbook or NP100. So the dry bulb temperature was 24 degrees centigrade. Taking it up on the y-axis, we go down and we mark the 24 degrees centigrade. The depression of the wet bulb was 5 degrees centigrade. So the y-axis go down and the intersection of these two will be 16 degrees, which is your dew point temperature for that observation. Now how do we predict fog using all this data? We are going to look at uh, this in a very simple manner. So we make a small table. In that table, we are going to take the observations at least two times to predict uh, the time of the fog. And the data we are going to take is going to be the wet bulb, the dry bulb, the difference between the two or the depression of the wet bulb, the dew point temperature we are going to find from the mariner's handbook and the seawater temperature, which we can call up the engineers in the engine room and they will let you know what the seawater temperature is. So let's assume at 0800 hours, the dry bulb was 24 and the wet bulb was 16 degrees centigrade. So we find the depression of the wet bulb, which is 8 in this case, the dew point from the mariner's handbook, which would be 9, and uh, the seawater temperature, let's say the engineers have said that it's 5 degrees centigrade. The same observations will be done again at 0900 hours. And in this case, we are taking an example, which would be 25, 16. So the difference is 9 and the dew point would be 8. Seawater is 6 and we plot a graph. So on the y axis, we are going to take the temperatures and on the x axis of the graph, we are going to put the times of observations. So I've taken dew point as uh, blue color and the seawater as red to make it slightly easier to understand. So at 8 o'clock uh, and 9 o'clock, we have the dew point temperatures as 9 and 8. The seawater at that time was 5 and 6. So connecting these two dots, we're going to get uh, lines which uh, are shown right now on your screens. And if you see, these two lines intersect at a particular point. So we just make a perpendicular to the x-axis and we see that it cuts down at 0, 0930 hours which is the expected time for the fog. Well, as a general thumb rule, we can say that if your dew point temperature and the seawater temperature is within 5 degrees centigrade, then you can expect fog. Thanks for watching this episode on School Mentors and uh, do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification. Thanks once again. Jai Hind.